mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experience at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Well, Geminis, I feel that this month you are very focused on ending certain things in your life that you are tired of, bored of, fed up of. I feel, I feel you are really wanting to recycle and transform a lot of things that you're starting to realize are not making sense anymore in your life or that need, you know, a newness to it. I feel that some of you are very focused on bringing new things, new element, uh, new elements to your life. Some Geminis have been going through a dark period in terms of uh, maybe feeling more more negative towards life, towards themselves. Uh, some Geminis have faced some heartbreaks or some losses in the past that caused some level of definition of themselves um, into the world. Because the exact words I heard is that black doesn't suit you anymore. And for me, this has to deal with this death card here in the advice, which is uh, it's time to recycle and inject your life with new colors, new interests, new aspirations, and a different approach towards things. And I feel that uh, lots of Geminis may be uh, looking at, at themselves and seeing things that they want to change as their hair, their, their makeup, the way they dress, the way they present themselves to the world, but it's not because of others. I really feel it's because of you and what that symbolizes to you, which is a statement of change, you know? It's like that statement that you make, that you are changing and that you're not turning back to a way of being that you don't identify uh, yourself with anymore. Some of you are just not identifying, um, you, you're not identifying yourself anymore with things that you have so far. And it's a, a shift of, you know, of. There's a change of behavior I feel that wants to come forward here and a new way of of talking, of uh, looking, of relating, of thinking even of what's around you and the role you play within it. I feel that some uh, Geminis can have opportunity to find real good uh, laughs and laughters and moments of fun and joy in this mid month, things that uh, can seem very funny. I feel that some of you are actually as well finding that there's more room for you to laugh, more room for you to breathe, more room for you to return to that element of the butterfly that it's so associated with you. And, you know, this desire to, to go experience, experiment the best part of this transformative process. I feel that some of you are out of the cocoon of that deep transformation and you are really changing important things in your life. Some of you though still are battling here with um, issues of your nervous system. I feel that some of you are still, uh, you know, are still here to regain some control over your mind. I feel as well that sometimes you may feel that you have kind of um, a split uh, mentality or personality that puts you on the verge of things and not really knowing um, which side of you is you or which side of you to follow. So I feel that some of you may be still questioning a little bit your identity and who you are, who you should be and always keeping in mind that we all have dualistic natures and actually that's what what Gemini is here to teach us and and bring to this world is that notion and I feel that as you try to manage as you try to accept both sides of who you are and finding a way to manage them both without it because if you choose one over the other the other the other one is going to take over somehow so it's learning how to manage whichever type of twin feeling you're having either about yourself either about your work uh, your love life your interests whichever you find you know a double element to it is finding a way to manage it and not 
uh, I don't feel you should take one in 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 regards to the other because um, specifically in regards to yourself of course if you're talking about a love triangle maybe it's time to make a choice but it's not really that what I'm feeling I'm feeling that this has to deal with your personality and the way you approach things in that double sword type of of situation and this may cause issues for your nervous system which is already very sensitive and then it creates a uh, propensity to um, anxiety or, or or just not being able to calm yourself down and, and, and be in silence and being mindful of your thoughts. I feel that uh, some of you are still going to deal here with the a past situation that may come forward and this may the last you know this may be the last um the last bit the, the last bit of incentivation that you were needing to really change something i feel that there may be for some of you a blast from the past i there's two kings here you have the king of swords as an opportunity which i would interpret as being you and regaining mental authority, gaining your mind, gaining your the power of your mind, regaining control over who you are, regaining a sense of, uh, you know, a sense of clarity into what you want to do with your life forward, and also a sense of maturity into things that may have uh, be it may have been before out of control. It also is on an opportunity to eat for you to find new interests for you to study, analyze, for you to communicate, for you to advise others. It's a great time to empower yourself from anything, any pursuit that comes from the essence of who you are. The challenge being the King of Wands. We could look at this as you being, uh, having a type of a confrontation, um, a confrontation of wills, of egos, with, between you and a very, as well, very, um, a very strong-willed and maybe stubborn and inflexible bossy individual uh, this may be a clash of egos a clash of wills and there may need there may be I'm sorry there may need to be some some uh, debate here to find the middle ground or to realize what this king of wands is still doing in your life or um, if there's still a real place for this situation to keep itself as it is or if it is time to change it and the advice it is to change it the advice it is to transform it and to allow whatever this king of wands is if it is someone external so someone else that has a bossy controlling abusive behavior towards you or someone that is just not that you see as selfish or that doesn't hold the best interests at heart for you or someone that you just don't you're not able to find agreement and agreement with i feel that the relationship with this person may need to go through a phase of uh an ending so a potential new energy may come to the may come to the surface and reveal if there's change or not possible with this with this relationship for others of you, this is upon this is upon the influence of this person that may even be from a past situation that it's still lingering in you and needing to as well transform it and release yourself from it. Others of you, this is again that dualistic um, sp type of split personality that may be around you where you may want to follow more of your instincts and your fire and your passions and then you may want just to be serious cool collected and not follow any type of situation that you may see see as risky and so you may have here um, a confrontation with those two aspects but actually fire and air are friendly friendly elements which means again if the egos can come down and there can be an honest discussion of what's going on without each other, each part, or even if it is with another person, each part taking things so personally, there's, 
there's an ability to work together. There could also be a deep change that is happening in terms of the masculine attributes that exist in your psyche. Your, mis your masculine attributes that deal with your, uh, your objectivity, your ability to, to initiate things, to conquer things, to be objective, analytical, to um, materialize things in your life and to win, to succeed, success. So you may have deep change here in what authority and the male um, figures, regardless of you being a female or, or a man, we, you may have here a big change on what the male uh, archetype means to you. There's, there's a change there, I feel. And it's amplifying things in your life, you know, it's, it's, it's amplifying things in your life that you are as well, and maybe you are discovering that you are more ambitious than you thought you were, that you are more capable than what you thought you were, that you are more bold and courageous than what you thought you were. I feel that there's a lot of risky, adventurous, but calculated energy as well, that it's here with Gemini's in terms of things they want to do with themselves. So any type of uh, either physical or, or, or internal change, it's beneficial at this mid-month. What else? Yeah, I feel that there's needs. Um, there's something here that needs to be regulated. So it, instead of being, um, you know, push and pull energy, it regulates into a center of harmonious um, and peaceful energy. I feel that there's a regulation. I don't know if it is you compromising with parts of yourself to get towards that big change you want that allows room for new things to happen or if the, the this is actually about real regulations and rules um, in regards to establish things in your life like your career or finances or divorce a divorce that may be uh, going on I feel that there's something of regulations because these two kings kings are very objective upfront and sometimes formal figures so there may need to be here some some clear settlement of what is the role each part here is playing so i hope you have a great mid-month thank you so much for all of you who have been liking sharing and commenting please keep doing so and uh hopefully we'll see each other soon